So guys, as you can see, today we're going to be putting in the round LED taillights like I have in JJ. Seth wanted them in his Jeep, so we're going to be putting those in today and I'm going to show you step by step of what it takes for me to get these taillights in Little Red. Okay, so I've got the tail light out and I'm about to cut the wires. And I know that will make a lot of people cringe, but I'm cutting the wires on the tail light side. I'm not cutting it on the wiring harness side that's built into the Jeep. <clears throat> uh, I'm not going to go back to this style tail light anyway, but if I did and I bought another tail light, it would come with this harness already on it. So I've not lost anything. The lens was already busted on this one. Uh, so anyway, I'm just going to snip these off. Just like that right there. Now the tail light's out of my way and I can proceed with uh, trimming my hole. Okay, this is the hole saw that I went with. I got this off Amazon. This hole has to be four and a half inches, so I ordered a four and a half inch hole saw. And I'm just going to uh, chuck it up in my drill and go into a line the bottom part of the hole saw with the bottom part just cutting that out that that kind of helps me get everything lined up i will go in the center of these all right i've got me a mark started right here i went and got me a smaller drill bit i'm gonna go ahead and drill my pilot hole on in tail lights fit good and I'm gonna leave these tail lights uh, the link in the description they won't come this dark Seth ordered a, like a tail light wrap it's a tent that's made to go on tail lights and we tended it and I trimmed it out before we stuck it in so you'll notice on mine that mine's a lot redder than this that's because Seth put tent on top of his tail light because he likes the blacked out look So these tail lights come with two plugs. They both are identical. One of them just plugs in the top. And of course the other one will plug into the bottom. There's writing around the plug telling you 
what is what. Okay, I hadn't got anything wired up yet. I went ahead uh, and put me some POR15 around the uh, bare metal right there just so it won't rust. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other side out and I'll wire them both up at the same time. <laughs> guys I started wiring this thing up so I took both my ground wires which are white and I uh, drilled a hole down into the uh, body down in here so I get metal to metal contact and uh, these have eyelets on them and I just put a screw through it into the body got my ground here because there's, there's not a ground here you get your your ground from the body like the, the factory tail lights was bolted into the body and that's how they got their ground this top plug has a ground wire and then you hook the red wire up and on my Jeep you hook the red wire up to the purple and black. This black wire on the top plug is not used. On the lower plug you use all three wires. You have a ground, the red wire goes to the green and red on my Jeep which is a 98 and the black wire goes to the yellow and black. And that gives you your reverse light functions, uh, it gives you your nighttime running lights, and then it gives you your brake and your turn signal. So now that I've got all these wired up correctly, I'm gonna get me some solder. I'm gonna solder these connections, put a little heat shrink on them, and then I'll go to the other side. All right, I've got my wires soldered up nicely. And I couldn't find any heat shrink that was the right size, so I'm just going to use a good old electrical tape and it work just fine. All right, I'm ready to start hooking up these last wires. Uh, this is going to be at the top plug. So on the top plug, you don't need you don't need the black one. This one is going to go for the reverse light, which, if I remember right, is purple. be using these down here remember black went to yellow and black I'm trusting this side is going to be just like the driver's side red on the bottom plug will go to red and I guess it's green or red and gray red and green red and gray I'm not sure I can't really tell it's dirty and that should be wired up correctly now let me uh, plug this in. 
So the one with two wires only connected and goes to the top plug. And the three wire one that I have connected to the harness goes to the bottom plug. Okay, I'm gonna cut my headlights on. Signal on. All right, and now I'm going to hit my reverse light. And the reverse light's on. So now I'm going to solder these connections and I'm going to tape them up. I got her all soldered up and taped up. And now it's time to go in with it. So I need to make sure I get all my letters lined up. You can put a little baby oil around this and it pops in a lot easier. I just, I don't want to take the time to do it right now. All right, you can see how that kind of goes in right there. I do go back and uh, take like some door edge molding, cut a little bit of piece. I'll raise this up and I'll, I'll I wedge it down over the, the body right here and it holds everything up and good and tight. Well guys, there's the completed tail lights installed. Looking good, as I mentioned earlier. Seth has put a uh, smoked tint on top of his tail lights. So I like this fine. It looks good on the on the red and uh, the smoked and the dark looking color. You can see here that I also did the uh, the tag wrap like I did on JJ. If you want, I didn't film that this time because I just did a video on that. If you want to see. Uh, the video on how I done that you can check the link down in the description and it should be popping up on the top right hand of the screen right now if you're on a computer or a cell phone that's going to wrap up this video guys I know it's been a little while since I posted a video and I've had a lot of things going on and this is uh just what I had planned to do today thank y'all for watching y'all come back next time and we'll see what we got going then yeah.